Hello, this video is going to give you some good details about how to do the keyword research. We're going to go into uh, um, detail on using the Google Keyword Tool as well as uh, using the spreadsheet once you download it. So I'll take you through step by step how to do this uh, here in just a few minutes. Now of course when you put this into practice it's going to take uh, longer than a few minutes to do all of this work but uh, you'll have this video to come back to to review so you can make sure you're doing each step correctly. So let's get started. I'm at the uh, Google AdWords keyword tool and uh, I am signed in. You'll want to make sure that you create an account and sign in and then under the tools and analysis section we're going to use the keyword tool. Now you can find this easily by typing a search into Google simply for keyword tool. And when you search for that, you'll see this link here, adwords.google.com slash o slash keyword tool. And that's the one that we want to use. And that should bring you into this page <coughs> on the uh, Google AdWords showing the keyword tool. Okay. Now there are a few settings that we've got to change here. Over on match types, they have broad by default. We want to change that to phrase match. If you're signed in, and again if you're not signed in you'll have a link up here to sign in. You'll need to do that first. And make sure you set up an account. You do not have to pay for ads or anything like that to uh, to get signed in and use this tool. The, the keyword tool is free. So we just need to create that account. And then uh, let's say we're, uh, um, we're selling uh, sunglasses and uh, wooden sunglasses and gamer sunglasses these are some of the types of sunglasses we sell so we're gonna put those uh, phrases in there then we want the keyword ideas so we're gonna click the keyword ideas tab instead of the ad group beta which they have by default and then we come over here and, and check phrase match and uncheck broad now because we're signed in when we change that here it's going to automatically run the search and give us our data. And we can see here sunglasses being a, a one word a keyword and, and a general broad phrase. Uh, we've got just huge amounts of uh, search volume of course on that. But when we get more specific we have uh, lower but still decent phrases. Okay. Now what I'm talking about here in this video is just beginning keyword research for your uh, for your niche once you've developed your niche your website now we need to find the phrases people use to find our products and so uh, we're going to put in uh, um, phrases here that are not only the broad phrases in fact it'd be better not to have broad but more specific so let's say uh, we have uh, the gunner um, gamer glasses uh, uh, these are what I'm looking for, Gunner Optics, Computer and Gamer Eyewear. So we put that in there, Gunner Optics, um, Computer Eyewear, and Gunner Optics Gaming Eyewear. So there are a few more phrases. Run the search again to get that data in there. Okay. And so there we have uh, some information available for us for keyword research. We see we have 656 additional phrases that uh, they have found for us. If we click on this global monthly searches, it'll sort all of the, the list by that global monthly. So we'll have the highest searches at the top. Now some of these are too general, um, single words. We're not going to target those. Um, but we'll download it first and, and then update the, the data. So we go to download, all search results. CSV and click download. Now it's going to ask us to open if we have Excel on our computer and we just open it with Excel and that'll work just fine. And that'll give us this spreadsheet right here. Now in this spreadsheet we have all of our keywords. It would be a good idea to uh, to maybe uh, oops. There we go to bold our, our header and uh, I like to uh, um, freeze that top row as well. Um, where that is is different in every 
uh, version of Excel, so uh, it'll be uh, a little different for you perhaps, but it'll be usually under a freeze pane section and freeze top row. So then as I scroll, that top row is going to stay put there. That's my header row. And then we can sort the list. And uh, sorting, uh, you'll have a, an icon like this. And we can sort Z to A, largest to smallest. And then now we've got all of our list here. Now let's save it. Okay, we're going to go to uh, File, Save As, and change the file type to Excel Workbook, and then put in your um, file name. And then save it uh, where you can find it, where you'll know where it is. So not in the temp folder usually, you're, you're going to go more to a, a specific folder and maybe even create a new folder for your uh, website information. And then we'll save the file there. That way we have it saved and if we, uh, if we go in and update it we can keep saving the file. All right, the next step is to eliminate <coughs> any keywords that are not relevant. So all of these uh, single phrases uh, that aren't relevant to our um, keyword list, we're going to remove. If we, uh, if we do have a certain brand name, uh, then we'll leave it in there. Um, and then if we don't, then we're going to go ahead and remove any other phrases that aren't relevant. So every phrase that is not specifically, specifically and directly relevant to our products we remove and the way you remove that is you click uh, you right click on the number of the row out here to the left and choose delete so it deletes the entire row of data you do not want to delete just this keyword and move all these up because then they won't align with their numbers so we have to have that correct so make sure you're deleting the entire row right click out here on the left on the number and then choose delete to delete any data that is not relevant. So you go through the list and delete all of your relevant phrases first. Um, save the spreadsheet periodically and then continue doing that research. Now once you do that we don't need this competition column which all, all often comes up so we can delete that data. You do that just by clicking on the column header there. It highlights everything. Press delete and that gets rid of all the data in that column. And we're going to change this to all in title. And then we can do our all in title research. So after you have eliminated anything that isn't relevant, I'm not doing that here yet because it takes quite a bit of time to do that. And that's something that you need to make sure you complete. But then once we have phrases that are specifically relevant to uh, what we are selling, we're going to research those phrases out on Google. And what we're looking for there is, we'll type in all in title, colon, and then the phrase with quotes around it. So it should look exactly like this. All in title is all lowercase, all one word. Then we have the, um, the colon right after it, and then quotes, our key phrase, end quote. That's how your search should be. Absolutely exact like that. If anything's different, if you put a capital on the A or change any of these parameters, then it's not going to work right. So make sure you're running the search that way. And this number right here is what we're looking for. It says about 485,000 results. So we take that number and put 485,000 right here. That's our all in title number. Okay. Now what we're looking for uh, as we do this is to find um, phrases that are preferably lower um, in the all in title. So we repeat that, leaving the all in title and colon in, in place, put a new phrase in there, 26,400. So that one is a much better phrase to target than this one but that doesn't mean it's necessarily the best. We've got to do the research on all of our phrases. And you'll probably find some that are in the hundreds, only have a, a few hundred all in title. Now the all in title is a competition indicator. That's uh, the number of pages that have these words in this order in their meta title. So as you see here on the page results, it's showing you in bold those keywords we searched for. This is the meta title of those pages we're looking at. Okay. 
So these metatitles actually have clip-on sunglasses, for example, in their metatitle of the page. Okay. So we do that for all of our uh, relevant words. We don't want to do that for a key phrase that isn't relevant. It's wasted time. So we do that only for the relevant key phrases. And then once we've completed that, we can sort our list again by A to Z, um, smallest to largest on the uh, keyword uh, all in title. Okay, And that tells us uh, which have the lowest keyword, or I'm sorry, the lowest competition. And those will be the ones we want to target first with everything we do to market or optimize our website. So that's how you do keyword research. Uh, start to finish, watch this webinar again to uh, help clarify that. Uh, but again, we're going to use the keyword tool, put in our keyword phrases here, run the search, use phrase match, keyword ideas, download the list, open it in a spreadsheet, Eliminate anything that is not relevant. Change uh, the competition column or insert a new column and call it all in title. And then do the all in title research for each of those on Google in this format. All in title, all lowercase, one word, colon, quote, key phrase, end quote. And then this number here that you get after running that search is what you're looking for. You put that in here. Do that for all relevant phrases. And then you'll have a good list to start with and know which phrases are going to be best to, to start targeting for your website.